I had a wonderful time here. Yeah. And these are my memories of childhood. At what stage of your young life did you leave Boyle for the glitter and glamour of Hollywood? No, I didn't leave Boyle for the glitter and glamour. I left Boyle because, well, we lived here twice, actually, when I, I was born in Boyle, you see. And then we stayed a while because my father was we were coming ready to some station here. And uh, so then, as a baby, I was here for a while, for about a year or so. And then my father was very badly wounded in the war. So my grandfather invited him here to stay to recuperate, so then we spent a lot of time here at Riversdale while he was recuperating from war wounds. And then he decided, well, you can't live with your in-laws forever. I've heard that before. And um, so we moved to Dublin. That's why we left it. But then every holiday I would want to come back here. So I always came back here for the years. I shouldn't hear about me coming, but I was here. The celebrant Father Green God, made a, to canonize me. a special appeal to you to sensitize American opinion towards the plight of young Irish immigrants. Is that something you are concerned about at all? No, I wasn't at all. I was very surprised. Not, not by father's statement, but I was surprised by Cardinal O'Connor because uh, I read it wrong, all the papers played it up wrong, and it seemed to me that he was trying to get people to leave Ireland. And I thought, well, that's a very strange thing to do. I wouldn't think they want people to leave Ireland to emigrate from Ireland. So I hadn't really thought about it until Father spoke about it at Mass and said it was the people who were already there. Uh, so I haven't given it much thought, to tell you the truth. Uh, I know I immigrated myself, uh, so I mean, I'm nothing against it, but I didn't like the feeling that I got from the paper that, come on, get everybody out of Ireland and let's go somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, well, I think, I, what, read it wrong. I think perhaps what people mean is there are hundreds of thousands of Irish there already. Uh, they have illegal status there. Well, I didn't know that. And uh, people want to improve their situation yes, and make yes. life oh, well, that, more acceptable. Yes, that, that, yes. that is fine. Right. You see, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Do you plan to go on working? Uh, uh, yes or no, yes. I'm married, not very happy. James Cushing over there. And you know, something comes up. But I, I mean, you know, my life's got a big circle. And, I work, or not work. I've got lots of other things. I want to write a novel. Have you any idea of what it's about? Yes, I do. Will you tell me? Um, well, no, it's the will be the west of Ireland, of course, eventually. I've written a chapter. When can we expect to see it? God knows. <laughs> <laughs> In looking back over your successful career in the movies in the United States, which are your, your best memories, or one or two of them anyway? Oh, I don't know. I know it's much into it. Um, I suppose, really, you mean enjoyed working in them? Well, I enjoyed John McCormick's film, of course, because it was my first sighting. I was very fond of John McCormick and his family. And um, then after that, I was enjoyed David Carpenter and uh, I enjoyed Pride and Prejudice, I enjoyed the Tarzan film. I enjoyed, I enjoyed a lot, lot of ones that I never saw and forgot, but I think that's the ones that I enjoyed. Um, I've enjoyed the whole spectrum. Is it as rough and as tough as we are led to believe? Uh, it is, and um, it is, and I think some people, for some people it's very tough. For those who are very ambitious and want this and want that, it must be very frustrating at times. Uh, I was never that classy. I took what came along and uh, probably to my own detriment. I was happy with the family of Metro Golden Mayor. I didn't fight with them because I could have. So I didn't find it all that time. I was happy. My name is Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much. A little bit of boy to bring back to you, which will be presented to you now by our chairman. On behalf of the organising committee, it is my pleasant duty to present this uh, engraving. It is an engraving of Boyle Abbey in Cambridge, Christen, to you. So on behalf of the organising committee, thank you very much for coming. Well, Can you see it without breaking it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, yes, I don't want to break it yet, you know. It's got a long way to go. It's ah, lovely. Fine. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you. Very
sun shines on Boyle today, as is obvious. The sun shines in more ways than one. It is a truly lovely occasion and the fulfillment of, I suppose, a dream which the Chairman Frank Eelan and I had and our excellent committee have shared. This idea was first mooted two years ago and has been pursued actively over the last 12 months. So we are very happy. And from the reception we received as we came down through the town today, obviously you too are very happy. Maureen will be welcomed in a number of ways. We can attempt to wrap our welcome in different clothes, but the underlying sentiment is the same. Indeed, it is a welcome re-echoed by all, but especially by the people of this area. The film media is special to our century, where it has flourished. It has provided entertainment, enlightenment, education, and above all, escape, escapism for millions in good times and more importantly, in bad times. The stars of the movies flit across the screen like beacons. Such a light is Maureen O'Sullivan. I would like to welcome on behalf of our committee a most sincere welcome, which will be reacted by all to Mrs. O'Sullivan and to her husband, James. Our first speaker, as our first speaker, I am pleased to call on the distinguished chairman of Roscommon County Council to speak on behalf of the people of County Roscommon, Mr. Brian Maluli. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, guest of honor, Maureen O'Sullivan, chairman of Boyle Town Commissioners, Adrian Wynne, chairman of Midland Regional Tourism, Tourism Organization, Sean Doherty, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am indeed very pleased to be present on this platform here in Boyle this beautiful afternoon with so many distinguished guests to join in the welcome to your guest of honour. As Chairman of Roscommon County Council, it is my privilege to extend on behalf of all the people of County Roscommon a sincere Kate me a 100,000 welcomes to Maureen O'Sullivan on the occasion of this visit by her to the town and the county of her birth. We welcome to her husband, Mr. James Cushing, and we sincerely hope that their stay with us will be a very happy and pleasant one. pleased and very happy that Maureen O'Sullivan is back in her native town and her native county and is part of this week's historic Roscommon celebration, the Roscommon Second International Reunion. On behalf of everyone who is involved in that celebration, on behalf of all of you and on behalf of Roscommon people everywhere, I want to wish Maureen health and happiness for the future. I want to sincerely thank her for all the joy that she has brought into the lives of so many people over so many years and for the great honour she has brought to County Roscommon and to her native town of Boyle. Gama Fada Buwani. Thank you very much, Mr. Maluli. As well as Maureen, I would like if you would extend a very warm you don't have to be warm so today. Welcome to these beautiful girls in front of us who will form part of the Miss Isles of Lockheed Festival which is going on here in Boyle uh, this week as well. Our next speaker is, if I might uh, call him, 
a colourful, if I might say that, and you won't be offended, our colourful uh, chairman of Lakeland Tourism, Mr. Sean Darley. I'm sure he won't be offended. If you chairman of Roscommon County Council, Chairman of Boyle Town Commissioners, very distinguished guests, and above all our special guests, Maureen O'Sullivan and her husband James Cushing. There are few words that anybody could express today that would give any of the impact that your presence is giving to the occasion. I am privileged to hear all of the words that have been spoken, words of joy about the coming of Maureen O'Sullivan to her native town of Boyle. And I was delighted yesterday to hear from her lips the fact that she feels that Boyle, Nap Vicar, and Roscommon molded her in a special way to be the great person that she did become in later life on the silver screens of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Boyle is proud today. Its people are proud. And Maureen, you are witnessing today in Boyle a sincerity, a hospitality, and a welcome that comes very readily to the people of this town and this area when they seek to express a love and affection for somebody that they are proud and delighted to have in their midst today. You are a lovely lady. The, the town of Boyle and the people of Roscommon are proud of you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And it is, and I'd like if you give him the appreciation he deserves, Mr. Frank Gielen. Thank you very much, Tony. Distinguished guests, Paulino Sullivan, Reverend Father, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasant pleasure on behalf of the organising committee to welcome you all here today on this very auspicious and nostalgic occasion. Few towns in Ireland can boast of having the birthplace of such a celebrated, famous lady. A daughter that we hope this weekend will be much appreciated by the people of Boyle and its hinterland. We also hope that now Boyle will rightly take its place among the towns in this country in the tourism areas. To our distinguished guest, Maureen O'Sullivan, I extend a sincere Irish welcome home to your birthplace. I want to assure you that during your short visit here, the people of this town will extend to you the hand of friendship and a traditional Irish welcome. You have reached the pinnacle of success and you can be justly proud of your wonderful achievements both on stage and on screen. From our initial contact, it has become increasingly clear that Boyle is very dear to your heart. I have no doubt but that this friendship will develop even further and we now even look forward to your next visit home to Boyle. Kate Mila Forcha from Monash a 100,000 welcomes to you. We now have an illuminated address which we would like to present to Maureen O'Sullivan on behalf of the organising committee, the Maureen O'Sullivan Invitation Committee. And the, the Maureen O'Sullivan, the, if I read the, will you read it? Okay. The illuminated address to Maureen Sullivan will be presented by our chairman, Mr. Frank Gielen. Maureen, it gives me fantastic pleasure to present this illuminated scroll to you. The scroll reads as follows. The Maureen O'Sullivan Invitation Committee Boy extends, extends a sincere Kate Mila Forcha to you, Maureen O'Sullivan, on your return to your birthplace at Main Street, Boyle, County Common, Ireland. We are honoured with your presence here today on this very special occasion. 
We know that Boyle is very dear to you and will always remain so. You have contributed with dignity to the film and stage world. We are happy and proud to be so closely associated with you and hope that this association will continue. We also hope that you will bring with you pleasant memories of your visit to Boyle. Signed, Frank Gieland, Chairman, Tony Conby, Secretary. Maureen, thank you very much. Very happy and proud to introduce to you Maureen O'Sullivan. Thank you, Frank Eden. Thank you, Tony Convo. Thank you, Father, for canonizing me at Mass this morning. <laughs> Thank that colorful gentleman, Mr. Deputy over here, who said such nice things about me. And there are so many people I want to thank, but I, I'll get to that in a minute, so I'm not very good on names. And mainly, really, thank you. I've never seen such a, a wonderful, heartwarming group of people. I, my life has come a big circle, and today the circle has kind of closed itself in a way, you know? And I'm home again, where I was born, and where my happiest days were spent, at Riversdale House, where Mr. and Mrs. Burke run so well, and where, I was, where I'm now staying. And um, I think it, probably all of us have one place in our lives that means a lot to us as life goes on. There's really one place that stands out, no matter, now I've lived in a great many places, but my place, for whatever kind of a person I am, or the best part of me, shall we say, I owe to Boyle. Uh, its influence and lucky in the countryside has given me whatever poetry is in my soul, whatever love I have of God, whatever it is, has come from here. So I thank the people of Roscommon, um, the blue skies and the cloudy skies, and whatever makes Roscommon boil what it is. And I thank everybody. Thank you, Father, again. I'm not that much of a saint, you know. <laughs> but I'll try. I'll do my best from now on. Oh, really, really good. <laughs> Of course, I want to thank Mary Travis, who's uh, been uh, the soul of energy and whatnot for getting us around, and my goodness, for the uh, County Roscommon League. Is that my, am I saying that right? Committee. And uh, she's, she's, I don't know how she does it. She's up all night, she has one night, one hour's sleep, and I never say to her, do you have a hangover? Because she's up at spray in the morning. <laughs> she's a great lady. and. Uh, She was up till four in the morning, and I said to my husband, oh, she's never going to make it today. She'll have a bad hangover, but not at all. She shows up, gets us going. So thank you, Mary, and thank everybody that's been part of this wonderful entertainment. And, and, and thank you, thank the bands. Oh, wow. And the army. And the great music. And standing in the heat there in your uniforms. I'm sorry, I'll be brief. And um, thank you, kids. Thanks, everybody. And thank you all of my heart. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. That uh, finishes the addresses. The, what we do now is we go from the platform here down to the house in which Mr. Sullivan was born Brendan Sheerans, and we unveil the plaque there, which is bedecked at the moment with red. Unveil the path, we hope it goes 
Patsy, let's do this way and a smile, Patsy. This way and a smile, Patsy. Which is our
Mrs. Sullivan and her husband James Cushing are here. And uh, we put this little program of entertainment uh, together for, from musicians from this town and the area outside, particularly an area of Belly Farden. We have dancers as well from Bam Amin. So all this area is uh, represented here, hopefully, in some fashion tonight. And that is the object of the exercise. And we hope you enjoy it. And we start off. I just introduce you to you have the members of the band there who might just stand up when they're called Suzanne McTiernan, Marie, Marie McTiernan, Ashley McTiernan, okay, McTiernan Clan. We'll be meeting the Daddy McTiernan after a while. De Deirdre Ty, Sheila <laughs> Callahan, Angela Banks, Geraldine Kelly. Katrina Chapman, Detective Flanagan, and S. Keith. These are assisted by Anne Conboy, Mrs. Dwyer, Kathleen Dwyer Morris, Eileen McGowan, and by, in my right hand there, Josie McDermott. warm us up will play a selection of Irish music. Reels, reels, reels.
song, the singer, singer, and she's going to sing the Golden Jubilee. And we'll, after that, then we'll have Rosaline. So we'll have the two ladies back to back, as it were, and Rosaline will sing the Isles of Loch Key.
sincerely pay tribute to all the people who have contributed to this entertainment here tonight. Maureen O'Sullivan is really enthralled with what she has seen. And she's just after saying to me, if it's the last thing I'll do, I'll buy a house in Boyle. <laughs> I want to extend um, on behalf of the family, on behalf of you, uh, a very warm welcome to Riversdale to our distinguished guest, Miss Maureen O'Sullivan. She and her husband, James Cushing, have spent the last two days here, and it has been our great pleasure to host them and uh, I can assure you that it's been a real pleasure to have them in our house. Um, I was in Boyle yesterday, and I must say that I was very impressed by the great values which uh, was evident in the speech that Maureen O'Sullivan gave. She spoke of the beauty of the God-given gifts that surround us, and the effect that this had on her life. And I can tell you, that we have had the experience of sharing this experience because we want to say to her that we have found her to be a beautiful person, a person who is simple and lovely, and it's a great pleasure and a great honor to us to have her here today. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Frank. Thank you, Tony. And certainly thank the Burks. We've had a wonderful time here. Uh, this is my first memories as a child. I was brought up here, brought up in Riversdale. And um, it was then called Riversdale, not Riversdale House. And what they've done, I, I was nervous to see the house, you know, whether they'd ruined the inside and it didn't look as nice as it used to, but it looks grand. And um, I'm just so happy to be here. And I had it, when I first went to America, I made a will, you know how you do. And I said, I want to be buried in Roscommon. I want to be buried in the west of Ireland. I want to be buried here by Riversdale. Because I thought my children would love the trip over. 
Whereas they would never go through the traffic in Los Angeles and they would come and pay respects to me out here. I'd figure that all out. But anyway, we, I left that alone. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for coming. Good luck and Godspeed. It's been great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Maureen O'Sullivan. Right, I now call on Maureen O'Sullivan to plant this tree here at Riversdale. Yeah. First of all, wait a minute. Oh, we sorry. have to put 5p in here for good luck or more money if we want. John Burke to say a few winding up words. John Burke. Well now ladies and gentlemen, with silver underneath and planted by a star, I have no doubt, but it'll reach the stars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what I want to say is thank you very much Maureen, and thank you very much James, and you're always welcome in our house. <coughs> and to you people, oh.